in this particular session we will continue with our next scenario from the diva beta application so let's get started i'm using my android emulator here on the right hand side where i have already opened the input validation issue part one that was our next scenario here and on the left hand side i'm using my kali linux which was running in vmware virtualbox and i'm also running my jdx here with the diva beta application here now the main objective here in this input validation issue part one was try to access all user data without knowing any username. There are three users by default and your task is to output data for all the three users with the single malicious search. So let's figure out what was the query or the source code running on the backend part. Right from there we will execute our malicious script here. So first of all let's figure out the source code. And again, we'll go with the same manifest file and we'll figure out the activity name as SQL injection for this particular activity. Let's go with the source code. For source code, go with Jacker Asim Diva and go with your SQL injection activity here. If you go with the source code here, we got some basic class declaration and we simply define an object for our SQLI database. The object name was MDB. This was the object which we will be using for our SQLite database. After this simple definition or the declaration part, we got our onCreate method and under the onCreate method, we have a try block to handle the errors part. So under this try block, we simply open a database with the name SQLI. If the database exists, it will simply open the database. If the database was not available, it will simply create a database. The database name was SQLI. Perfect. Now we simply execute some commands for this particular SQLI database here. And the commands were drop table if exist SQLI user. If there was any table with the name SQLI user, that particular table will be dropped. On the next query, we got simple create a table if not exist. If there was no table with the name SQLI user, then we will simply create a table with the name SQLI user where we have three different columns. The first column was user, the second column name was password and the third column name was credit underscore card. So we have three different columns in this SQLI user. After that part, we simply insert some values in our next query and the values were insert into SQLI user. We got the first value as admin. We got second value as diva and third value as john. It means these three values were inserted inside your table. And the table name here was SQLI user. Database was SQLI. And the object here was MDB. After that part, if I scroll down, you can see we simply get our search method here, which will be triggered for your view elements. Under the search method, we simply define a variable from the edit text and the variable name was src txt or the search text you can say. It was simple declaration of the definition for your search text variable here for your edit text part. Then we simply you define a try block and under the try block we simply write a basic row query. We simply created another object here for the cursor part and the very object name was cr and this particular object will contain some values for your row query and the query looks like this one select star from SQLI user it means fetch everything select everything because the asterisk here is a wildcard character it will accept everything whatever was there right so just select star or select everything from SQLI user where user equals to and now we'll simply compare this username with our search text dot get text dot to string it means whatever we enter here will be added directly into the sqli query and will be compared inside the table and the comparison will have work for your username here and at the end we simply end our query with a single quote and we end the null here normal case Let's go with the text editor and if I write my query here, let's say if I simply add some username equals to admin, then the query will look like this one, like select 
start from SQLi user where user equals to single quote admin and single quote whatever you enter here in this input field will be reflected directly inside your query so the objective was we have to access all the values from the database with a single query for this part here what you can do you can simply follow a simple SQLi based injection and we generally call it tautology based SQL injection in which you can simply add a basic filter here what I'll do we'll simply add the input here as admin and we simply add one more or operator here and we simply compare one equals to one what it will do it will simply compare the username with the admin and it will simply compare one equals to one let's say the other users were not admin even then one equals to one was true and just because username was not matched username will simply generate a false result but this one equals to one will generate a true result so the complete query will always generate a true result if i simply add these values here just to match these single quotes we need to add some extra quotes here so single quote and let's add single quotes here as well so we can fill this and let's copy this and paste this in place of this admin and just paste when your device will simply execute this query it will look like this one select everything or star from sqli user where user equals to admin we have two conditions here now the first condition was if the username is admin get everything about admin only about admin second condition was get everything where one equals to one and we know this is a universal true condition so in all the cases this will generate true results because of this part we will get results from all the comparisons as true and if all the comparison for all the rows inside the table will generate true results the result or the response will always get all the values from the table itself so if i simply copy these values from here let me just first check some values i'll go with test as an input go with the search part we got user test not found not a issue let's go with admin if i simply enter admin here and search we got admin password and credit card number but on the other hand if i input this particular malicious script and the script will looks like this one admin single quote then an or operator then single quote one equals to single quote one and if i enter search here you can see we got all the values for all the users and the users were admin diva and john the query will result admin equals to user that's true but this diva and the john's result were reflected because of this comparison one equals to one so with this kind of sql injections you can access or you can fetch some resource or fetch some data from the database without permissions part you can easily inject those queries with an input field on your application and from there you can access some restricted data that was your input validation issue part one have a good day and stay connected